My next guest is a documentary filmmaker whose movies include The Interrupters, Abacus, and Hoop Dreams. Here's Steve James. I wanted to have you on in part because I like you, but also we're in this age, it seems, especially in the last, I don't know, s several months where facts, they don't, they don't matter. They don't, they're done. We're yeah. done with them. Yeah. Um, it strikes me that, like, as a, somebody who makes documentaries, that you, A, care deeply about that, and B, there's no media where you can shape a story more to your liking and in some ways misshape a story than film. So I just wanted to get your kind of thoughts on the overall fact situation. Well, facts have always been a pain in the ass for me. <laughs> um, I mean, I would prefer to just do without them. So, yeah. uh, you know, yes, I mean, there's facts and then there's truth. That's what us documentary filmmakers like to well, make the distinction so, between. So explain that to Well, <clears throat> a, um, a colleague of mine said, I don't know if she ripped it off from somebody else, but I rip it off from her, but I'm giving her credit. Yeah. Um, she says What that, was her name? Uh, Dana Cupper, who shoots for me a lot. There you um, go. Credit, credit, where credit's due. And Dana likes to say that uh, documentaries are a thousand uh, lies in the service of the truth. And that, that's really convenient, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, what does it mean? It means that documentaries are made up of a lot of, you know, manipulations uh, of, the, of facts. But, you know, the whole idea is, is that you arrive at a deeper truth um, through that process. And, you know, I mean, there are a lot of sort of little, you know, mis little lies in documentary. I'm kind of digging myself a hole here, but no, no, I get it. but I mean, it's like you know, when you construct a story, you 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 take certain liberties in order to try to get at the truth. You know, you film something for two hours, you go, you boil it down to two minutes. You know, you're you're obviously misrepresenting in a very literal way what happened, but you're hopefully you know presenting it in a way that's both uh, people will watch it. You know, and I've been accused of making long films, so you know I don't boil them down enough. I You're guess. Not Ken Burns. I, no, I'm not Ken. I, Burns. I mean, I love Ken Burns. But, uh, yeah, no, me too. Yeah. yeah, who doesn't love Ken Burns? Who doesn't love Ken Burns here? <laughs> yeah. I want to. My dream. My dream is to make a. I mean, just because this Vietnam thing is probably longer than the war itself. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Wow. I'm not gonna. Wow. Here's where you get. Keep, <laughs> public television documentary <laughs> filmmakers. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're All on right, each other this now. is gonna be on. Yeah, TTW. Yeah, yeah. I love this. My, I want to make a like ten-part documentary about Ken Burns. There you go. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story about Ken Burns. Uh, a few years ago, I went home for my mom's 90, 90th birthday, and my uncle, who's like, you know, ninety-one at the time, loves a good stiff martini or two. Um, he corners me in the in the kitchen, and he says. He goes, Steve, um, why can't you um, make more films like Ken Burns? <laughs> I go, what do you mean, Uncle Phil? He goes, well, you know, I see he makes these films like on Civil War and baseball, and they get, they get a lot of attention, <laughs> and, 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 and they really, you know, they really do really well for him. And I'm like, well, gosh, Uncle Phil, I'm, I've had a career, <laughs> so, you, you know? He's like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But, but, but Ken Burns, you know, he's like, he's got it figured out. <laughs> so that's, you know, now you see where my, you know, but, I mean, there's cynicism a, towards Ken Burns comes from. But there's a, there's, there's a fundamental difference in, in the types of films that you make or that any different filmmakers do yeah. make. I mean, he's saying, I'm going to make, well, I'm going to make a movie about baseball. Right. And it's great, but it's about the, the history of baseball. Right. Whereas your movies, well, how do you, how do you choose your topics? Because it's not about I'm going to make it about the financial crisis. I'm going to make it about one story. This right. is Abacus about a bank in Chinatown in New York that's going through all kinds of trouble. Right. That's a fundamentally different way to approach a topic. Well, yeah. I mean, I I get caught up in in, in individual people's lives stories and. You know, in the case of Abacus, so um, since you give me the opening, there you go. Um, small enough to jail. Small enough to jail. Uh,
kind of sorry I did that subtitle thing. It's kind of cheesy, but it's, but it's catchy. It's catchy. Yeah. Uncle Phil would like it. Um, <laughs> he might. He, he might. He yeah. might. Um, uh, so with Abacus, it's like this was a story that was not reported in the mainstream media. Uh, it took place in Chinatown, New York, and the New York Times, the venerable New York Times, I like to say. Yeah. Uh, they did exactly two not stories. Not failing New York Times. No, 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 that's somebody else says that. That's right. Um, so they did exactly two stories on this case, and it and what this was is Abacus, Federal Savings and Loan, a little small community bank in Chinatown, New York is the only U.S. bank to be criminally prosecuted in connection to the 2008 mortgage crisis. Um, and here's the thing. Uh, they discovered some fraud. The going, bank itself did. The bank discovered some fraud going on, um, low-level fraud, and fraud that had nothing at all to do with the fraud that went on in 2008, like credit default swaps and subprime mortgage lending and all this stuff. Uh, they discovered the fraud. They fired the employee. They instituted their own internal investigation themselves, which resulted in firing a couple of other employees. They reported it to the regulators. They cooperated with the DA's office because they thought the DA was going to help them root out any further fraud. And they were rewarded with being uh, indicted as being complicit with the fraud and endorsing the fraud and encouraging the fraud. You're going to tell me to shut up in about two seconds, but you've got another project in the works. Yes. <laughs> I didn't tell you to shut up. No, no, you didn't. You were very polite in your... Yes. Uh, and it's about the town where, uh, I mean, I think it's public knowledge, where you live and where I live, uh, the high school, Oak Park River Forest High School. Right. And it's, it's you know, it's already people are curious because it's a documentary about, I'm not going to, what, you tell me. I, it's a strictly need to know, Mark. Um, no, um, it's, it's been it's, in the Wednesday Journal. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> they don't even know what the Wednesday Journal is. Everybody knows the Wednesday Journal. Everybody knows. Journal. Um, so, well, we've lived there for many years. Our kids uh, went to the high school, went through the school, went to the high school, and for years I've thought it would be really interesting to do a film about the high school there because it's a very big high school. Um, it's a public high school. It's an incredibly well-funded school because the community, the community has a real range of, of socioeconomic realities, you know, from, from you know, single-parent families who have clawed their way into Oak Park so their kids can go to that school uh, to extremely wealthy individuals like Mark, for example. You know, <laughs> you know cause this show, television. I mean, this show, especially now yeah. with this show, yeah. I mean, geez, like you got a new couch. We even. can't let the guests take the mugs cause this is the only two we have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't, can't even afford water or anything, but. It evaporated, we had it at one point. So, so, so for years, so, so it's this incredibly well-funded public high school, very diverse, in an extremely liberal, progressive community. We went 90% for Clinton, um, and the other 10% wasn't for Trump, I don't think. But it's like, and yet for decades, they have struggled to bridge this academic divide between black and white students. And, and it's something that the community has wrestled with and felt in, you know, somewhat embarrassed about um, for many, many years. And so I, of course, wanted to do a film on it. And, um, but I never thought it would be possible yeah. um, because the community cares so deeply about its image. Uh, and, you know, and it's a well-deserved, in many respects, image. Um, so I never thought it would be possible to get into the high school and do a film. But then I found out that the school board makes the decision about whether we could do that or not. Not the, not the school, not the principal or the superintendent of the school. And we eventually brought it before the school board. And they, because most of them had not been on the school board that long, they didn't feel, I think, culpable for any of what's gone on over the decades, which they aren't. And so it, I think it was, they wanted to do something to kind of shake this whole thing up. And so they agreed to let us in over the objection of the superintendent and the principal. Wow. So we, were, we filmed in there for a year, and we followed a bunch of kids and teachers, and we followed the, you know, the school as a whole. And I went to a lot of school board meetings and filmed. And it's going to be a kind of longish 
Is the goal mini series? Uh, Ken Burns, finally. You know, yeah. finally. <laughs> Although not as long as the Vietnam series. <laughs> Could be my my biggest failure yet. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> Steve James, everyone. Thank you. Funding for the interview show is provided by Lagunitas. Beer speaks, people mumble, except on the interview show. The Lagunitas Tap Room in Chicago is at 2607 West 17th Street.